If you're a content creator or educator and you're trying to stand out in your industry, look no further than Opus Clip. This allows you to take your long form content, your podcasts, your tutorials, and turn them into viral clips within seconds. We're gonna go through the, how to use the platform, and this is for the complete beginner. You're gonna learn how to upload your content, how to create your clips, and how you can start today. So to begin, you can go to opus.pro, you can create an account for free, and let's get started. Once you create an account, you're gonna be able to go to your dashboard. From here, you're going to be able to add one of your clips and be able to start editing and creating these viral clips. What I'm doing is I'm going to my YouTube page, I'm going to some of my most popular videos, and what I'm gonna do is start there. I'm gonna look at a video that I wanna upload. Now again, you can go and you can choose a file, or you can just drag a Google link, a YouTube link, whatever it is, to start getting the clips in one click. So I'm gonna pick one of my videos, I'm going to pick the copy for a share. I'm going to drop it in here. So I'm copying and pasting. It's going to think about its life for a moment. It's grabbing this and now it's having my video right here. It's saying the credit usage, it's going to be 10 minutes. I want this in English, it's 1080p. And then I get to decide on the caption present. So this allows me to think about what, how is it going to present? How am, are my subtitles gonna look, right? And I have a bunch of different ones. I can see simple, think media style, karaoke, uh, beastie, so it's gonna be like Mr. Beast. Um, we can go with a deep diver. So this really allows you to see some of your favorite YouTubers or them, how they create their clips and being able to pick a similar format as them, right? So let's just go with uh, podcast P. So this is going to be like, um, we'll look at this. This is Paul George's podcast. Let's take that processing time frame. I'm going from zero to nine minutes uh, and six, 16 seconds. So it's the whole video that I'm picking. And this is add captions without clipping, add caption without clipping. No, let's see. I'm going to go with genre of video. I'm gonna say auto processing time time frame uh, all the way. I'm gonna say preferred clip length. Right now, I'm gonna do what I'll do for this one is under 30 seconds for this. And I'll tell you why. I want this to live as a YouTube short, so I don't want it to you know have that uh, three uh, zero to three minutes. I just want them all to be YouTube clips automatically. And topic filter by keywords, optional. Now, what is this right here? It mentions, please enter keywords separating each one with a comma. So this also helps us if we're going to help the system, the AI to know a little bit about this or to give it some more context. So what I'm gonna say, building applications, I'm gonna say no code, side hustles. Okay, so I separating each one by a comma. It's great. And let's get the clip. So now it's doing its thing. It's fetching the data, all of those things right here. And then it's going to ask me, okay, what will you be using Opus Clip for? I'm going to say for business right here. Uh, what is your industry? So I'm giving them a little bit more. I'm going to say education, which team are you part of? I'm saying marketing. How did you hear about us? I'm going to say through a friend. So I'm just helping out the system. I'm letting them know a little bit more about me. What is the source of your content? My own content. Submit. And that's gonna be helping the team as well. So it's processing and analyzing. Once it's done, we're gonna come back and look at what it looks like in the editor. Okay, now that it has rendered the different clips, we get the results. Now, as we scroll through this, we have tons of different options of the different clips that we can have. But notice what it's saying for each one. Number one, it's coming up with the title. So it says, create stunning mobile games with BuildBox's new AI generator. It's already created the clip for me, the title. It's giving me a score right here. 
So it's saying 99 out of 100. So the likelihood that this video will go viral on short TikTok or Reels, 99 out of 100. I think that's pretty good. It tells me about the hook. So the video starts strong, emphasizing the benefits of using BuildBox for creating mobile games. This effectively catches the audience's attention. Maintain this engagement tone throughout the video. So it's giving me why they chose it. And as we're going through the different progressions, the hook, flow, engagement, and trend, it's telling me a little, a little bit more about the clip. For example, the flow. It breaks down the content, provides clear information, and highlights the strengths of BuildBox for creating 2D and 3D games, as well as mentioning the new AI generator. Again, giving me more information. Engagement, it's telling me that it's uh, delivering valuable insights. And then the ch said the trend right here says, the video mentions the new AI gener generator, which reflects the current interest in AI. So this helps me as I'm picking out a clip. If I want to, if I like that, I can always rate it. I can give it a heart. I can review it right here, see what it looks like. Okay, that's great. And then from here, I can see what do I want to do with it. It says auto post and scheduler. Okay, I can export as XML. Captions are exported as overlays and cannot be edited. So for if we're using like Premiere or something like that, download in high def, or we can edit the clip. We can do this for all of the clips. And for this nine minute video, how many do we have? We have 14 different clips. So theoretically out of one, we get 14 more days of content if we wanted to use all of them. As we scroll through them, it's going to give me more information in how much, you know, you see number 10, now I'm getting the hook at, at, you know, it's giving me a grade of a B. It says the video starts addressing a common problem of relaying solely on, relying solely on ad revenue. To make the hook more attention grabbing, the speaker could use a storytelling approach or highlight shocking statistics related to, uh, to ad revenue. Now, what I could do with this is I could take this if I wanted to and put it into CapCut or something like that, add a better hook and then put it back if I want to. But again, it's just giving me more information. Could I do better, you know, with a clip or something like that? Or I can just, you know, leave it the way it is. So let's go up to the top, pick the first one. And now we're going to do edit clip. From here, we're going to be able to edit the audio. And right here it says trim, a trim or extend the clip. You can set the start or end of a clip by clicking uh, on the words. Got it. So you see right here, it's starting right here. If I want to cut out that word or do something like that or change it, um, I, I've got all of those things. For example, if I have number two, I can of course right here, scroll on it. I can decide to remove both the text and audio. I can set it as end, I can set it as uh, as start, I can add emoji, or I can correct the caption. If I'm, you know, if the word is wrong or something like that, or it's not spelling the name of the company correctly, especially when you're dealing with so many different uh, companies, SaaS companies, software as a service, you might, sp it might do the auto correction or not spell it correctly, you can go in and change it. And then right here, we can edit the scene layout. So um, right here where it says change the layout of the scene, if we click it, we can decide to change how we're going to have it. It says fill, but we can fit right there if we wanted to. Um, screenshot as well. So we can have the screenshot above or we can just do fill. Now it says drag to reframe, right? So you see how if I want it to look a little bit different, I can just drag it. And then that's what it's going to be like if I want. So I got that right here. And then it says, explore more features, toggle on B-roll and change caption style and more. So I got it right here. So this allows me, first of all, to remove filler words like um, ahs, all those things. Got it. And you see how it says remove filler words. I don't have any. So they say, <laughs> that's not always the case. Sometimes I have a lot of filler words I need to get rid of, but I can do that, that's great. Right here it says generate uh, B-roll. It can say with AI or stock, I'm gonna go with stock. 
I can click that. So now it's going to find different sections of what I'm saying in the, uh, in the clip itself. And it's going to auto put in stock. And I would always review to make sure that it's on, on point with what you're looking for. We can do auto emerge, uh, emojis, toggle it off. Um, okay, to toggle it off will hide all emojis. I'm going to toggle it on. I'm going to keep the, the, yeah, and it says captions. I'm going to keep it here. And then screen overlay, logos, call to actions. Um, I could do that if I want to, but for this clip, I'm not going to. So here I can preview the different clip. And right there, it is going to have some kind of B-roll as it's, you know, as I'm talking and all those things. And I can zoom in to see what's going on with the clip if I want to zoom out. And that's the end of the clip. Now, if I want to look at the clip more in depth, see it says game development and it's picking a book. I'm not sure if that's really what I want, so I could change it. But also if I look at this clip, it says game creation. So I can go here and instead I could say instead of game development, I could say like, I don't think that's a great representation. I can say like app application development, or I can say like um, computer programming or something like that. See if I can get something a little bit better. I can say search. And then I think here might be a little bit better. Someone typing or something like that. So I'm going to change that out. It's going to take a moment. Okay. So then I can go back. And then that's going to be more of the clip kind of what I'm, I'm looking for or something like that. Now, say for instance, I'm going through this. I like that. I think that is good. Taking this right here and I can decide if I want to maybe either make the clip. Is that the right click? Is that the right amount? I can go and make sure all those things. Now, if I go back, oh, hold on one second. I need to save and compile. If I want to do that. Okay. So if I want, and that's the clips that I want, I can save it. All of those kind of good stuff. If I want to go back and uh, change more things, I'll go back into the clip and go from there. It will take a little bit of time because again, it's compiling all the different changes. So like I, I just made the mistake right there of, you know, saving. And then I thought I could edit more. Um, make sure that you're having all the changes that you want and then go back in and, and go from there. I can go back and now edit the clip. Okay, that looks good. But also, if I'm thinking about the clip right here, you see how right here it's different portions. So I might start out with that view, but then I'm going to change the layout to maybe screen sharing like that. And then it might change it. So, right, so I'm starting here, it's going to switch over and then it's going to go with this right here, right? So depending on your own cadence, what you want to do, all of those things. And then too, if I want to go right here and I can split it and then I can decide, okay, do I want to change it back or something like that? I can always decide to, to do that as well. Okay, so I have the design right here. I have the B-roll. I have the captions, all those things. And you see where I have this section here. If I want to do something else, I can delete that current scene if I want to do it. If I want to change something up, I can do that. Um, and then I can go through my clip, do whatever I want. Maybe I want to go back to fill here. And then I'm at another video and then I'm going to say, um, let's go with uh, programming.
I'm going to say pro computer programming. Oh, it's saying computer creation. Let me do computer programming. And then this time... Let's have it a little bit different. I'll pause it, bring it over here. Maybe I want to do change it to more of a fit. Nah, that's fine. I'll do fill. Make sure we have it. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so once we're done with all that, once we edit the way that we want, it will save it. And then from there, after it's saved, we can decide if we're going to, again, export it to uh, either Premiere or something like that or if we want to then be able to just download it or post it or anything like that. If you notice right here again, we can decide to um, do a YouTube short. It already has the title. We can make it public. We can connect our account right here and then be able to um, schedule it and all of those things. If we're picking uh, a platform, we can connect it. We can authorize the program to connect it, we're having it for Twitter, and then it's connecting right there. For YouTube Shorts, we can connect again, go into the account that we want, and then we can choose the channel that we want to do. So I'm going to pick it for, um, let's go with, yeah, let's go with um, a Doc Williams channel. I'm going to continue to grant it permissions. I'm going to allow it to um, have access. And then you see right here, it's connected to my account. And then we go from here. So we have that, go from there. And we can decide to publish it, or I'm not going to publish it right now. So that's where we have it. And again, we can download it if we want to, and then bring it into another uh, program. But this is allowing us to build out content very, very quickly. Imagine how many hours that you can save by using this. And again, when you're using Opus Clip, this allows you to have tons of different clips to let other people know. With the beauty of TikTok and with YouTube Shorts, it's hitting a different audience. And so now imagine this more like a billboard or a commercial. And if they're interested, now they can learn more about your brand and discover what you're about and all those things. And without you laboring over hours or hundreds of hours trying to create these clips from scratch, Opus Clip does the heavy lifting for you. If you like videos like this and breakdown videos, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see other videos where we talk about the tech that I use for my business or for my clients, there's going to be a link up above where you see our latest tech that we're reviewing for complete beginners. I'll see you in the next video.